This is question seven. Here we're asked to list the members of the set A and B. And we're given A, B and C at the top with the elements as follows. I'm not going to read those out. You can see those yourself. But what this means, these kind of squiggly brackets, these are the elements of set A. Now, what we need to do is we need to interpret what is meant by this piece of notation here. And this means A intersection B. This is where A and B join, or if we think about it on a Venn diagram, this is the part in the middle of A and B. So this, these are the elements which are shared by A and B. So what we can see here is that the members of the set A and B, the elements which are shared, is going to be P, because they both have P in them. It's going to be R, they both have R in them. Then A, because they both have A in them. And then there are no other shared elements. So I have the members of the set A and B, the parts, the elements which would go into the intersection of A and B would be P, R and A. On part two, we're asked to list the members of the set, and this is B, we read this piece of notation as B union C. So this simply means B or C. So what we're talking about, and again, if we were to draw a Venn diagram, this simply means any letter that would be in B or in C. So what that means is that this would be P. Um, a, R, I, uh, S, uh, B, U, D, E, and T. So as I was saying, the B union C, this just means any element that would be in this Venn diagram. And so we're talking about all of the letters that are included for B or C, uh, which are listed here. So on to question B, and we've got the sets D, E and F, and we're asked to put one of the letters D, E or F in the box below to make the statement correct. And then we've got A intersection or A and one of the letters above is equal to. And then we've got this symbol. Now, all that this symbol means, this is what we call the null event. And the null event refers to mutually exclusive events. It means events which cannot occur at the same time. Or another way to think about this is that they share no elements. So we can think of this again in another way. So A and something else will be equal to zero. The sets share no elements. So what we're being asked to do is we're being asked to figure out which of these three sets, D, E or F, shares no elements with set A over here. So here we've got Prague and it can't be Rome because Rome shares an E with, uh, so shares the element E with uh, set A. So they've both got E in them. Then set E, well here we've got Lisbon. Are any of these elements Lisbon shared with the elements Prague? And the answer to that is no. So all of the letters here are different to the letters here. And so our answer to this would be A, intersection E. So what we're saying here, just to be clear, is that 
if we were to input A and E into a Venn diagram, all of the elements from A, P, R, A, G, U, E, would go in that part there. There would be none in the intersection of A and E. So actually, the Venn diagram for A and E could be drawn like so, and should be drawn, I should say, like so, because they do not share any elements. Uh, so final answer for part B would be E.